giving you a basic primer on my alga so you guys have an understanding of what they are. Um, my algorithms that I have created myself are mathematically based and they kind of make trading kind of interesting from outside perspective because they're based on three different spreadsheets, one based on time, uh, which is the start and end of something, and one based on arc, which is the energy, whether it's very slow or very fast in the price movements, and one based on the vectoring or the geometry. Uh, you can plot out the price like flight paths and uh, where you expect prices to go from one point to another. Um, so that's what these three spreadsheets do together. Here's a, an example trade um, that I gave to a friend that worked at Goldman Sachs and he made it quite a bit of good amount of money on this. Um, this is a four hour chart of the euro across the Canadian dollar and uh, I plotted it out with a flight path and I'm expecting prices to go down and you can see from the start to finish that it pretty much did that. Now these algorithms um, work uh, their form fitting. They work to go over and give you high probability. So it's all statistically um, uh, calculated to go over and give me winning trades, I guess you can say. So it is kind of a way to predict the future, but you know, you're not always going to be correct. You're going to be right most of the time. And that's all you can need to do to, in order to make money. Now here goes an example of a trade off of a five minute chart. Now these can work from seconds to weeks. So the span of time is just fractally uh, relevant. And you go based off of what works most often. Um, this was a five minute trade, five minute chart, I'm sorry. Um, so the span of time would be like uh, anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour, or, you know, maybe two hours at the most. Um, but generally, um, you know, uh, I pick my flight path and that's going from A to B and I box it in between the prices I'm expecting the levels to go out. So that's the calculations. And that's the basic thing. That's uh, the, the first the time, choosing from your start to finish. Uh, so from here, let's say it's 50 minutes between uh, 150 to uh, 240, right? And um, you know, and then it prices go up between that period of time, and you target it out with your your vector. You go over and create your flight path, your vector, and you expect where to exit. This was an exit up here, and then my looking for a turn to go back down when it hits this time in the future. I get another trade. So that's kind of how that works, and it's based off of the time. Um, the energy, you know, if it's high energy, that means the high uh, probability that trade's going to work out and there's a lot of people interested and they're going to uh, create a mean for me. Uh, high intensity basically means that I get highly accurate trades um, when it comes to that. So when I see a high energy trade, that means I'm likely to get a lot of movement. Movement volatility is good. That's what you want as a trader. So that's what those um, three spreadsheets do together, and they give me an ability to kind of look into the future and be very accurate. And it's you know that's the mathematical background. I could have worked for NASA if I wanted to a long time ago, but no, I, I like what I do, and uh, the type of math that I use is very um, unique, and it's pure math and. Um, it's, if you've seen the way it works, it's just basic engineering. All things um, with uh, companies and so forth are, have engineers that work to make good products and, and show how they work and they fault test it and whatnot. So that's kind of like what I do. I'm an engineer and my background is in mathematics and um, I just used it for trading. And um, yeah, so those are what the algos are, and you might see the blocks of time pop up, and now at least you have a basic understanding of what they, they do and what they represent. And I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys next time. Have a great day.